back to another episode of Kavanaugh's Corner. Today on the show, I'm going to be talking about a movie that I saw just a few days ago, uh, and that is Christopher Robin, uh, Disney's Christopher Robin, if you want the entire title. Uh, it stars Ewan McGregor uh, and Haley Atwell as well. Uh, she plays his wife in this film. And uh, really, it is a truly uh, moving and just absolutely funny film. I think uh, the movie is probably one of the most touching films I've seen in a long time. And honestly, I also did not expect to be so emotionally distraught by the end of this film. This movie really did a number on me, and so I wanted to talk to you about it today. Basically, the movie is about the titular character, Christopher Robin, who is of the Winnie the Pooh fame. He is basically, if you don't know Winnie the Pooh, I should say, he is basically the character that really is the character that Pooh and Tigger and Eeyore and all those other characters and Piglet they are his toys in the original stories, and they come to life, and they play with Christopher Robin. And this film takes a, a decidedly other direction and really shows Christopher Robin growing older. And it's a great story. It's a great idea of how, you know, Christopher Robin is just this normal guy who gets older, actually gets drafted in World War II, and uh, even becomes, you know, this guy that has a family and really finds himself in a sticky situation where he has to really decide between his business or, you know, being with this family. And, of course, during this really troubling time, him and Pooh find each other again. But the movie really does have some really wonderful moments, some truly, truly emotional moments and really I gotta say is one of the most uh, just emotionally impactful films I've seen in quite a long time. Now a few people that I mentioned I saw this movie to said to me well I'm not really big into Winnie the Pooh so I don't really know how much I'd like it. Well I haven't watched anything that had to do with Winnie the Pooh since I was around probably about five years old uh, I'm 28 now, so it's been a while. <laughs> I mean, it's been quite a few years since I've dealt with Winnie the Pooh. But I did read the books when I was a kid. I watched the TV show. I had some of his older movies. I watched Winnie the Pooh stuff when I was a kid. So the movie resonated with me, but you do not have to be a Winnie the Pooh fan to really enjoy this movie. I mean, Pooh is such a great character in this. And the gentleman that voiced him is the same guy that's been doing Winnie the Pooh since I was a kid. So to hear that voice come out of the CGI rendition of Pooh was really touching to me. And, I mean, overall, I mean, the acting throughout all the movie is fantastic. Ewan McGregor really is phenomenal in this, and he should be recognized for his work in this. He delivers such a varied performance. He is very comedic. And he's also pretty deadly serious in some scenes. But I have to say, the movie really succeeds in packing an emotional punch. And I've said that quite a few times. And I mean that really heavily in this. I mean, there were some moments in this movie where, I kid you not, the entire audience was crying. And I mean, there was not a dry eye in the house by the end of this movie. I mean, I got incredibly emotional during this film and I'm not gonna lie I cried twice I'm just gonna go out there and say I cried twice during this movie I bawled my eyes out in one scene and so did everybody else in the theater so I wasn't alone um, but it was definitely a very very touching film I mean I would go to say I mean this is the first movie I've cried in in probably three maybe four Five, three to five years now. I haven't really had a good cry in a movie theater, but this really, this did me in big time. Um, the CGI in this movie is also incredible. I mentioned earlier that Pooh and friends in this, Pooh and company, I should say, are completely CGI. And some people were a little upset at that, but honestly, they did such a great job with it. Pooh really has his own little moments in this movie where he's trying to walk and you can kind of tell he's not really quite 
all balanced out. And it, it's cute. It's really cute. All the CGI characters in this were done to perfection. And they really do look like toys that have just come to life. And they've been sitting around a while. They're kind of beat up. And it works. It totally works in the movie. Tigger bounces around like you would expect. Piglet is this, you know, little itty bitty thing that's always scared. But really the standout to me was Brad Garrett as Eeyore. Eeyore killed it in this movie. Uh, Brad Garrett just stole every scene that he was in in this. And just another absolutely brilliant casting choice by Disney. They really know how to cast people. And he just did such a great job in this and is actually probably one of the better actors in the film. He just was outstanding. Uh, also, uh, the child actor, and I cannot remember the name for the life of me, but the child actor that played Ewan McGregor's daughter was also spectacular in this. She did a great job really conveying emotion. And also, all the actors in the film really did a great job of working with the CGI characters. And I cannot tell you enough how hard it is to work with a CGI character in a film. You are literally talking to nothing. And Ewan McGregor is no, uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he's no stranger to this. He did three Star Wars movies that were basically 99.5% CGI. So he knows what he's doing, but ha uh, Haley Atwell also did a great job in this uh, as his wife. Anyway, the acting in this throughout was fantastic. The CGI was fantastic. And the cinematography in this was beautiful. I mean, it was really, really gorgeous. It's actually a pretty damn good period piece as well, since most of the movie takes place in post-war London. Um, they did a really great job keeping London looking like it probably looked during that time. The cars were great looking. It really did keep it in that period, and I loved it. I really loved every moment of this movie. Mark Foster, the director of this, um, I don't know what the hell happened with him, but my God, was he stupendous directing this movie. His direction in this was damn near spotless. I mean, it was just amazing. And this is the same guy that directed Quantum of Solace. I, I don't know, man, like, to go from what is most, in my opinion, the worst Bond film ever made, to go to this, I don't know what the hell happened, but my God, my hat's off to Mark Foster, because he just did a wonderful job, and he's not a bad director, I mean, Monstrous Ball is another absolutely fantastic film, but, like, this is really something. I mean, this movie is damn near a masterpiece and really probably one of my favorite films of the year. Uh, I mean, it's one of my favorite films from Disney in quite a few years. Uh, I, this movie was just a really moving, touching film. It has a great, great meaning to it. And honestly, I could not find a single fault with this film. Uh, it killed me emotionally. It had me laughing in certain parts and really, really deeply touched me. And uh, because of that, I have to give Christopher Robin, I, and again, I'm doing this again uh, two in a row now. Uh, I'm giving it a five out of five. It is just an absolutely fantastic film. I cannot recommend it highly enough. Even if you are not a fan of Winnie the Pooh and those characters, you are still going to be really, really moved by this film. Um, if you are a fan of those characters, then I will tell you, uh, you are going to love this movie even more. My only suggestion is, if you go to see this movie, bring the Kleenex. I'm Andrew Cavanaugh. Thank you for coming back to Cavanaugh's Corner. If you like this review... Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to uh, see more videos in the future. Of course, I had to wear my Disney shirt today uh, because of this. It was just, it was, it, it had to be worn. So thank you very much for coming back to Kavanaugh's Corner, and I'll see you next time. Good night.